Right, I've just had a bit of a break from videoing for the last 15, 20 minutes while I've been just playing back what I've done already in case I'd lost anything. So I carried on up after leaving the hill fort and managed to join another track skirting these big trees that we could see from the hill fort. I've last year or so I have wandered through th I sometimes actually wander deep in the wood as well I know various tracks but today I'm keeping to the main tracks but you know this will eventually link to another route and it'll take me back down to um, Winscombe eventually not well not for a while yet but here if I've taken some photos if we zoom through we can see Burrington Coombe, an outcrop there, look, that's Burrington Coombe there. And uh, these are all the areas of outstanding beauty ahead of me. Uh, little patches of bluebells, I can see the odd patch of bluebell from the distance. Like I said, I've just done quite a big hike upwards. I've taken my jumper off um, and I've had... Um, some more more fluids, more water, and it was quite. I've nearly up the worst part of the hill now. Um, not feeling too bad. Uh, I've despite having eaten a banana earlier, so I thought I won't eat anything else until I get more level. Uh, there won't be much more like this now. But look at the beautiful tall pine trees. Like I said, I weaved in a track over there and found a parallel track to Happy Valley another time but I've deliberately avoided it today because I plan to go down Happy Valley possibly sometime next week to capture more bluebells and like I said I've seen a few patches of bluebells out on the area of Outstanding Beauty um, which we will also be doing throughout the summer walking out there There's a lot to do, and, for and fortunately, the 125 was my route out here, my way of getting here. The only issue, like I mentioned before, about I'm very grateful for the buses, as I wouldn't, it wouldn't be possible at all. Um, but when I had my own vehicle, I never ever really worried about the time apart from when it started to get dark. There was no pressure on time. Um, I could just take my time. I, you know, and I always knew if I got back to Cheddar, I could have sausage and chips and a can of Coke in my van. I, you know, I used to love that. And um, there's no time for that now. I mean, basically, there is, they haven't put a five o'clock bus on. So you either get that four o'clock-ish one between four and half past or you have to wait two and a half hours. Now I probably will make most of that two and a half hour gap when I'm doing one of the longer walks. It will be useful then. And you can't afford to miss that one either. I'm just turning off a minute. Right, I'm back up. We're very close to Happy Valley but skirting it. This is, my turning would be up there to go down Happy Valley, which I'm not doing today. But as you can see on the edges of Happy Valley, even more of the bluebells have come out a lot. But by next week they will really be out. Do you see what I mean? But I've taken quite a few photos in this wood that skirts Happy Valley that's close. Happy Valley's down there, over there. I just thought I'd do a bit of image, mean, just in case for some reason I don't do it, but um, there was more haze out on the area of Outstanding Beauty as well. So I was just thinking of the route here, when I want to come here to go down, whether I want to <coughs> touch the area of Outstanding Beauty on route so that I can see it, so I'm not sure yet. Getting out of cheddar is hard work. It's all uphill. Look at these lovely trees. Look at the green. 
It's gorgeous here. You know, let me just zoom in through. It's just so lovely, isn't it? It goes on and on. On and on with all the bluebells. Yes, just a reminder my granddaughter Lucy is 18 today. Now, on the day of her birth, I was in Suffolk. Zara and I had moved up there for family tree work for six months. And I was in, the, I was taking the dog Louie out. I was actually in a ditch at the time. And my phone rang. Mum, I'm in labour. So, but it was going to be a long time. I had to drive from Suffolk. It was going to be a long drive. And I, I'd missed the birth. Um, didn't get there in time. Peace, feel the peace. Feel your warm bones, Sheila. At last, you've got that warmth. Yes, at last. In a minute, it'll be a little sidetrack. That's what I say about Happy Valley. It's tucked away. It's not easy. You know, there's probably other ones that I haven't come across yet. That was pure accident, finding that. Well, it wasn't. There was a route further down the other end. That was more defined. But from here, okay, you might see a track going down, but it doesn't, it doesn't always necessarily lead you to that one. Over and out, everyone. Right, folks, well, we've come up. We've, we know Happy Valley is down there. Um, we're now going to make our way. Oh, somebody come in. What a minute. All right, back on. This is a route I know very, very well. And it's all downhill to the stream. All right? We're not doing any diversions, as far as we know. We're just going to carry on. There have been, sometimes they cut some trees down and it can for a minute throw you. It's happened to me before because a lot of the sections that they do the trees in look very similar, the plots if you like. Not these so much. But every now and again they will cut a few down, even a whole batch. And you think, oh, I remember a path through there and, and it's gone. But uh, this is a very beautiful area, and of course full of the Christmas trees. Now I've just checked the time. We have got about, if you think about it, two hours. We've got to think that the bus gets to Cheddar at nine minutes, say five past the hour. But we're going to Winscombe. So in a way, we've got that 20 minute thing. Now it would be a push to get to Cheddar now, to be quite honest, would it? Yeah, it would be a push. So, look at the lovely trees though, everyone. Isn't it gorgeous? Now there is a route there. If I was, had decided to go to Cheddar, I would have gone across the area of Outstanding Beauty, for a start. But you can, there are, you can go that way, but I'm going straight down here. And then I'm bearing round. But you can cut in there as well. But I haven't done it for a while. So I just hope I'm making the right decision coming down here. Um, maybe I should have gone that way, I don't know. All I know is I've got about two hours and say quarter of an hour. Now I've done this many times, this, this route. Taken many photos. The battery will probably need putting on the battery charger will probably need to be put on the 
Kodak in a minute. And even this might start needing a new battery. And I've got two spare ones, so we don't have to worry about that. I've just had a bit of cake and a big gulp of water. Met people, they go out in um, little groups, learning map and compass, you know, tend to be students. Um, they come here to do outdoor pursuits type thing. I mean, they go abseiling, they, they do all sorts. And it's good for them. And they don't always like it. You see some quite overweight ones sometimes. They do look like they're struggling, but I think it's to try and help them, really. But look at that scene! Hey, eh? I love this time of year. I mean, April's gone, but May! Marvellous May! It's gorgeous. Now, I've... You see all these woods? I've weaved through. I've walked through them as well. I've gone down their tracks. Um, I mainly do it in the winter, because, as you know, lurking will be the tick. But, I, do you know, this is one of the best days I've felt today. Energy-wise, breathing-wise, you wouldn't believe the difference in me. Now I got over whatever I had. Um, for months I was struggling to breathe but without inhalers. Um, it was really bad, actually. Um, I was really wor starting to worry, and I made an appointment in the end, and more or less had to ask for some prednisolone just to give me a, my lungs a break. And they seemed to have kick-start, not all, only for a, a five-day course. I don't believe they are steroids. You know, you, if you use anything moderately like that, I think it's good. That's why I don't do it very often, and I will do it. <sighs> Contrast in the trees, look. It's gorgeous, isn't it? But we've got to keep pushing on. We can't really relax. It's quite a way to go. It is two hours from here. Easy. And what would I do if I don't make that bus? I'm, I can't get over not having a five o'clock. Can't you know? I can't believe they're making us wait two and a half hours. And, you know, that four o'clock bus, it's, it's just corny. I thought they were going to put an extra bus on in the summer. Maybe they will yet. I wish they would. I really miss the hourly bus for, for cheddar because you can just relax a little bit when you suddenly got up upper gear because you know if you you know that you can't fit a four hour stint in now because you haven't planned to could do four hours you know yeah i know you haven't planned to do a four hour stint now this is where it can get confusing because um, I'm going to go straight across because I am sure that's the way I used to go. If you go down that way, you're going to end up at the start of Happy Valley, down the bottom end. And we don't really want to do that. And I know, uh, no, we don't want to go up through there, although it is possible. That would just join that upper route. And I've done that before. I've done all these routes. Okay. See, that just take you straight up there. Now we're going to curve around and we're hopefully we'll end up at the stream. I've got to put a bit of a... I'm glad I am feeling better. I've got to put a bit of a spurt on. I don't want to. Now if I had my van, I wouldn't be moving quick like this now. I'd be taking my time. What's worse for me, if I miss that bus, what am I going to do for two and a half hours? I'm not going to take go and do another walk, am I? If you end up in Cheddar, it's all hills. When you've already done a lot of walking, you don't want to end up in a hill. 